What is happening, Magnesites? Well, well, well. I'm enjoying playing this game. I wanted to play yesterday and get a chance. Hope I'm going to get a chance to today. If not, definitely tomorrow. I'm on the giant flaming bear. Right there. <laughs> now, Blackmouth Wukong sells an incredible 10 million copies. And people are mad. Man, I've been seeing videos, man. People coping, making excuses. I heard they went <laughs> to the point of where people are saying that, <laughs> that the, there's a rumor that the Chinese government made people buy the game. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that all is going on. All I know is I enjoy the game. Uh, I'm also hearing that all, you know, the garbage saying that it wasn't diverse enough. We are the females. Apparently, there's plenty of female characters in the game. You just have to play through the game and there's like plenty. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, this time we live in is so ridiculous, but congratulations to Black Myth Wukong for selling that many. Now, sold an incredible 10 million copies in just three days. Uh, heard her doing better than uh, even, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember the name. Ah, damn it. But they're breaking records. Like, you see? Do you see? As long as you don't woke it up and you just do a great game, great TV series, great animated movie, great movie, Great articles, whatever it is, don't woke it up, you'll make money. Your chances increase. It's not a guarantee because for many, 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 many years, we weren't woken nothing up. Okay? But when a company just goes in with an idea without worrying about DEI and ESG pieces of trash, they don't have to worry about that. Just put out a great, heartfelt product and most likely, People will at least give it a shot. The action RPG, which is inspired by the classical Chinese novel, Journey to the West, went on sale on August 20th across PC, PS5, and now, as of 9 p.m. Beijing time, you know, that's crazy. I, I hear they're having a hard time putting it on Xbox. Imagine if they did. They'd be able to get a lot of that. Um, August 23rd, Game Science has announced Black Myth Wukong has already shot through the 10 million sales barrier with an eye-watering 3 million concurrent players across all platforms. Wow. Yeah, I heard people were trying to make it sound bad because, you know, most of the sales were over there in, in China. And they're like, oh, it's, it's on Steam. It's dropped by 2 million players. Well, they went to sleep. <laughs> they woke up, <laughs> start <started> playing. <laughs> oh man, I tell you the twisting and coping and oh the hate that this game is getting is su such a damn shame. Thanks to all players worldwide for your support and love. Game Science tweeted, "Have a great gaming weekend." You know this makes me think of uh, you know like. Just it just with this whole thing with woke going on right now, like you know, the acolyte just got canceled, and uh, you know, like people were like, you know, there's like a comment I saw in a video where, where, where someone on Twitter was like, um, something about you anti woke bigots, are you happy now? And it's like, first of all, it's just regular people. See, when George Lucas was doing Star Wars, most of the fandom were happy, period. That's everybody. Even the weirdos were happy with Star Wars. Now that they're doing it the way they're doing it, only the weird people like it.
That's why the petitions numbers are trash. Nobody wants it. The majority of people want great entertainment again. Not some 0.2% of the population left field, left far, way out in left field, genre twisting of this and that and fundamentals. No one wants that. Everyone wants back what made them fans of all of these platforms, of all of these media, all of these products, everything from beer, ask Bud Light, to right here with Disney and gaming and everything else. <sighs> it is amazing that people you know, fight for, for that stuff. It's, you know, anyway. Um, it's like they, 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 they fight for the, the death of a brand. They like the, whatever it is that they've been doing these past few years, but what they've been doing these past few years have been destroying these brands. Like, and, and first of all, you know, people be praising these companies and then they're, they're just doing it for the money anyway. Like which ones are still Here's what I want to know. I'm sure there are some. You know how you know how you know if it's truly what they truly believe in principle. If they're still doing it and losing money and going bankrupt, and they're just going to do it, and the company is going to plant that flag and die on that hill. That's how you know. But the majority will stop because it's killing their companies. You know what I mean? It's I I I, I don't I want to know who the analyst was. Thank you for that word, nerd Roddick. I don't know who the analyst was that told all these companies, hey, do this. It'll work. And then for years and years, we, we, we've seen it destroying them and them losing numbers and the fans and the clients and the customers not being happy with all this. Yet they kept going. No, nah, trust you. It just, it's, it's, it's a curve. You'll see. It'll all catch on. No, what happened is all their businesses and their profits caught fire. That's what happened. So anyway, just wanted to talk about this really quick. Uh, there is a full article over here on IGN. You can go over there and read it or wherever you decide to read it. I'm sure all the major outlets have something about Wukong hitting 10 million. Congratulations, Wukong. Please, all companies continue to do the right thing and make product that made you great that that created these fandoms for you that made the majority happy or keep doing what you're doing and lose everything i don't you know i don't know what else to tell you 10 million subscribers woo